did a little heavy research on this next record, getting rather tired. It is now 18 until 3 in the morning. This will be the last record I'll talk about tonight for my 60s YouTube channel. Mr. DJ on Billboard's Hot 100, the phenomenal Billboard's Hot 100, December 31st, 1966. And uh, the song that's coming in, Lost 45, coming in at number, number, number 82. Please don't ever leave me by the circle. It peaked at number 59. Dropped to number 82 the week after The Circle Oh god This song This sounds like a Beatles record It sounds like a Beatles B-side It's almost as if The Beatles Thought Well we We got all these great A-sides Let's just put out a B-side and that's the circle record right there. Uh, please don't ever leave me by the circle. And uh, the circle, the, the genesis of the circle took place around the early 60s. Two guys formed, uh, well, they were actually known as the Rondells. Not to be confused with Bill Deal and the Rondells, which came out later in the 60s, but uh, they had that song, I'm Hurt, in 1969. But uh, the, the, uh, the core of the circle the group that would come to circle was uh, Tom Dials. He was a folk singer. And Don Dan Daneman. I believe it's Daneman. I'll just pronounce it as Daneman. And I apologize if I mispronounced his last name. Daneman. Uh, they formed the Rondales. The Rondales, they were a frat band, but they got good. They added some people, some drum. They added a drummer and uh, I think another guitarist. But they got good. They started playing on the East Coast. They played gigs at Atlantic City. Of course, now, this was before Atlantic City became a big gambling den. But uh, they were discovered at playing one of the uh, lounges, I think, in Atlantic City called the Alibi Lounge by an entertainment lawyer. His name was Nat, 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 Nat West, W-E-I-S-S, -S, I'll pronounce it as West. Nat West was, he was not only an entertainment lawyer, he was getting into the entertainment entrepreneurship. He teamed up with Brian Edstein, the manager of the Beatles, and uh, Nat West played an integral role in getting prime gigs for the Beatles in 1964-65. They played at these huge arenas like Shea Stadium. Shea Stadium, enormous triumph for the Beatles. And they also uh, were helped arrange by Nat West, and they also played at Carnegie Hall, also courtesy of Nat West. Nat West took the circle, well, took the Rondells to New York City. The Rondells started playing, with, and then that, that's when they became the circle. They were playing gigs at Greenwich Village. The clubs at Greenwich Village. But the, the history gets a little complicated. Tom, well, Dan Daneman did a stint with the Coast Guard. It was sort of a draft thing. He did a stint with the Coast Guard. And uh, so the group sort of broke up for a little while. And Tom Dowles, now get this, Tom Dowles, he teamed up with Simon and Garfunkel, played, played bass on a tour with Simon and Garfunkel. And that's probably where he got introduced to the, what would become the circle's big hit. Red Rubber Ball, which was co-written by Paul Simon. Uh, Red Rubber Ball would be the... F oh, God, that was such a lovely record. It just brings back so many memories. One of the most melodic records ever. Red Rubber Ball. Uh, well, the circle, they got back together. The group got back together, the circle. And Red Rubber Ball, it was uh, Brian Epstein and Nat West. They... Two of them got together. We're talking two big moguls. They got together and they really put the heat on. You got to break this record. They finished and got a Columbia Records to release Red Rubber Ball. Came a hit. I think it did it go to number one? Or was it number two? Well, anyway, it's a signature hit. You know the song Red Rubber Ball and then my favorite song from the sixties. It's the you know, it's the it's the <laughs> tune in, tune out classic uh turn down day at the summer of sixty six. And then they had all these minor hits. Penny Arcade was one of them and this is another one. Uh please don't please don't ever leave me. I believe it's the name of the record. Let me pull it up again. My memory's fogging up on me. Please don't ever leave me. Uh, by the circle at uh, coming in at number eighty, I believe it was at eighty two. They put out two albums, by the way, the circle did. Put out two albums. Looking over my notes to see if there's anything that I missed about the circle. I don't think so. Uh when they were in the Rondales, when the circle was Rondales, um they did, mo did mostly cover tunes like most bands do, particularly Four Seasons records as the Rondales. Well here's a uh, circle. Please don't ever leave me. Falling down on Billboard's Hot 100 the week of December 31st, 1966.